What up, what up, what up, what's going on? This is Kay. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, just hit the subscribe button, make a comment, or hit the like button. Uh, and that's how you show your support. Appreciate all my current members. Now, guys, I made a mistake, guys. Big mistake. Big mistake. It's a mistake. Some of uh, entrepreneurs what we do um i do i write government proposals contracts and stuff and especially in a certain area and uh this lady she just needed two of the items of a government uh contract uh completed and i gave her a price Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't have that much. And I get, I, she said, this is what I have. So what I did was allowed her to control how much she would pay. So I said, okay, that's fine. I wasn't even thinking then, you know, I just said, okay, that's fine. Now that I, I realized the mistake I made was, so I, after I, I, I um, gave her that price, I sent her an invoice. Uh, then I sent the agreement, the contract for her to sign. Then I got an email from her last night with a list of how she wants the whole process to go. Oh, let's meet on Thursdays and Sundays. Um, I, uh, uh, I'm going to be working with you. I need weekly updates. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh my God. A bill, as a bill that I would charge three thousand, I gave it to her half off. Here's the mistake, guys: don't undervalue your business or your services. All right, if she can't pay you, she she can't pay you. Okay, if she if the customer can't the client can't pay that certain amount, then it is what it is. They go, you get somebody else. All right. Don't cut your prices for nobody. <laughs> That's just an advice. All the clients I've worked with that I've cut my prices because I'm I'm doing community service, they it end up biting me in the butt because they um <laughs> oh gosh they they start getting agitated. They start getting controlling. You know, they start, you know, they just want to tell you what to do, which is fine. You know, I don't, I don't mind. But if the money is not the amount of problems they're going to bring, like uh, the cost, was it? The cost outweighs uh, the problems or the problems outweighs the cost. Then, man, then I should, I should have just stick to my, stick to my guns. All right. You know, you got to stick to your guns. You got, as an entrepreneur, you have to stick to your guns. That This is my price, and this is how much I'm, I'm going to charge. And if they like it, they can go somewhere else and try. But most of them usually come back. That's the mistake I did. And I've done it before. This lady wanted me to help her with some marketing, uh, client, uh, how to get clients for her company. And I told her $500, right? And I'm a nice guy. That's the thing. I, I, I'm not like crazy money hungry where I have to overcharge people. And people have, people, have, my mentors, and my wife, they say you're just too nice. You know, if you want to be nice, going to uh, do, uh, go start a nonprofit, which I'm going to. Um, <laughs> so she, so I, I charge her, I was going to charge her $500. She's like, oh, I don't have any money. So I, I, I eventually cut the price from 500 to 250, right? That's how much of a nice guy I am. This lady ended up calling me all types of names in the book. I paid you 250. I'm like, ah. Uh. So guys, what do I do in this? Because my feeling is I don't want to do business with this woman. I think it will end up bad. So I'm thinking of not even taking the cake, not even taking the client. That's 1,500 gone, I don't really care. Um, I'll get that back, that's not an issue. I'm thinking I won't be able to work with her. Based on the email I received from her yesterday, 
when she was talking about she wants to meet weekly Thursdays and Sundays. I'm like, wait a minute. Where, where did this lady get Thursdays and Sundays from? Does she know that Sundays is my day? I don't work. I don't do anything on Sundays. This is my family. And I will give you the dates. That's how I do with the clients. Like the client that gave me all the, um, that I just, I just did a big uh, uh, proposal for. I sent them, they were, they're too busy. Actually, I'll send them, I meet them every month because it was a four month project. I meet with them every month. And so what happens is they will come, they, you know, I set the date and time. And they, they will come, if they can't come, then we'll reschedule. Now, I, ne I never heard from these people. And they paid double what she's paying. These people paid almost 20 grand. And this one is paying 1500. So, so I am not gonna take this contract 1500 because I what the mistake I did was gave her a, a discount and never again. I'm gonna put it on my wall. Do not give discounts only to returning clients. Only to returning clients, but clients you don't know. You don't have any familiar, uh, you have no knowledge of, uh, you're not familiar with, do not give them discounts because they will burn you. The first one, she burnt me. She called me all types of names um, because even if you want to get clients for your assistant living program, it's going to take time. You have to do marketing. This lady don't have a website. She don't have Instagram, Facebook. She don't have Google My Business. She don't have any of that. I took... I took five hundred. I took two fifty, and I was calling different agencies that gave clients that you know, but nobody was looking for clients. She called me all types of names. Oh man, you just took my money. I want my money back. And I said okay. Uh, and that lady, I didn't even give her a contract. I just sent her an invoice. Right? It was a small, small something small, you know. So I didn't really need needed to put a contract to it. I'm any business right now. I don't care if it's a hundred dollars contract. I am not cutting my prices for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Cause I am not doing that again. That's the mistake because I'm a nice guy. You know, I'm not money hungry. Like I have to get this money regardless. You know what I'm saying? And people have, 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 have complained about it. Like you, you are too soft when it comes to business. You know what I'm saying? Your value, your experience, all of that matters. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying charge an arm and a leg, but don't be too soft. Don't just, okay, oh, bring what you have. No, that's when they become more aggressive. So I've learned that lesson and I ain't doing that no more. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Peace.